I can already say that the Euroleague made the right choice by introducing the play-in tournament and here's my reasons why. As you might know, back in 2020, the NBA came up with this idea of extending the playoff race by adding a short tournament at the end of the regular season for teams that finished 7 to 10th. And it's been really successful over the Atlantic as they did it one more time in 2021-22 season and then decided that it has to be a permanent part of the NBA format. I mean, I still remember when the first play-in was implemented and how that Western Conference tournament got so much attention with the Curry and LeBron storyline and then the Grizzlies Warriors game that actually grew out to be a rivalry now. So you cannot argue with the fact that the play-in brought in even more entertainment to the fans but at the same time even more importantly in my opinion it became more competitive towards the end of the season and that's where I would like to switch to the EuroLeague where competitiveness is all that matters. As many of you might know the play-in tournament was only introduced this 2023-24 season. The format and concept is absolutely the same as in the NBA and with its introduction came many different opinions and takes. Ain't nobody got time for that. In general I would say that fans including myself were generally thinking that Euroleague will gain something from this and in terms of coaches and players well they weren't so sure. Most vividly I remember when Partizan Belgrade star Kevin Punter came on the Urbonus podcast with Eric McCollum and Donata Surbonas, and let's just say that what he said back then now kind of sounds ironic. I don't like to play again. I don't like it. I don't. Ooh. I do not like it. I feel like, listen, it is 34, 35 games, how many games? You better figure it out in 34, 35 games. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This league is too competitive. Guys are too good from top to bottom to throw a playing game because we, <laughs> we got to play. I don't want to play no playing game. So now for me, I'm like, I looked at the standings um, this morning. So one through six, I have to make sure I'm one through six now. So this coming up season, we have to, I don't want to play no playing game. Of course, I don't know if Kevin wouldn't stand by his opinion even now, because he might as well would. The only reason I'm raising that question in the first place, or calling the situation ironic, is the fact that Partizan Belgrade, as of March 28th, after 31 EuroLeague rounds, sits at the 11th spot. And the thing is, if the play-in tournament did not exist, Partizan could win all three games remaining, and if Virtus Bologna, who are at the 8th spot right now, lost all all of their three games and then let's just say all the other teams like Basconia, Milano, Valencia and FS lost their games too, then Partizan could only tie Virtus in wins and because they lost both games to Virtus, they could only finish as high as the ninth seed. In other words, without a play-in tournament, Partizan Belgrade season would be already over. So that's just one example, but for me the beauty of the play-in tournament is actually how much competitiveness it brings in different places of the standings. For for example, in the previous seasons, with three game rounds left, you would have like four or five teams fighting for those seventh or eighth spots. Now we have a situation where a team like Jalgiris, who are fourth team from the bottom at the 15th position, although very much in theory, but could still make the play-in with the right circumstances. Now just a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Hostinger. Hostinger is a go-to for all things concerning websites. From their AI-powered website builder to other AI tools, allowing you to compose SEO friendly copy or create a logo. So go ahead, create a professional website quickly and get an additional 10% discount for all hosting plans using our code BNUS10. But you know what, that race to the top 10 isn't the only thing that's been interesting. Now the top 6-7 teams who previously would be happy enough with making the playoffs from whatever position are fighting to be in that top 6 so they could avoid the play-in. From a media standpoint or just a general fan standpoint that's just great because as the season is coming to the end every game is just becoming more and more important and then you know that the storylines just write themselves and of course I haven't even gotten to the actual tournament yet all these runs for the six or ten spots are amazing sure but let's not forget how much drama we'll most likely see in the actual play in tournament and yeah because I can only speculate at the moment who will be playing let's just leave that for the future Future. Last thing I want to talk about is actually something 
trying to balance it out in this video because it seems like I'm all for the play in tournament. Even in my eyes, a guy who is a big fan of this tournament, I think it has its flaws. For example, I'm looking at the standings right now and I see that a team like Maccabi Tel Aviv who are at the 7th seed have 18 wins and 13 losses. Then the number 10 seed at the moment is Olympia Milano with 14 wins and 17 losses. Now imagine a quite likely scenario if the standings stayed the same way where Milano wins their first game of the play-in and Maccabi loses their first game. Assuming the win differential would be the same as it is right now, we would be seeing Maccabi fighting for their life against Olympia Milano who in the regular season got four wins less. Or in other words, a team that was one win away from the top six would be potentially out of the playoffs just because of a bad night or two. So especially because of that win differential, I'm not sure how I feel about that. But what do you think? Do you see this EuroLeague play-in tournament as a positive or more as a negative? I will assume that you will see this as a negative if your supported team is in trouble. But anyways, let me know in the comments. Also like this video and I'll see you in the next one.